your purses are it just depends on which just one. depends on which yep. right there that one uh uh that's ten dollars that okay the brand the, the one on the ground right okay there. yeah that right one. there that's that's two dollars okay awesome thank you mm -hmm. Y'all have a good day. <laughs> Can I show you what I found? And then I was going to ask as well on the shoes that were under the table mm -hmm. and the Vera Bradley bag that's in there, the flowery one. Okay, that, that's, I say five dollars on the bag. Okay. And um, we'll do um, we'll do five dollars on the shoes. Okay, I'll do mm -hmm. both of those as well. Okay. Thank you. All so right. that would be ten, twenty, twenty-two, and then however much this is. Um. Take $3 on that. So $25 total? Yeah. Perfect. Thank you very much. Okay. 
There we go. Okay. Thank Alrighty. you. Okay, so you're going to get this. Yep. And those. And the shoes. Perfect. Well, thank okay. you ever so much. Okay, you're welcome. Have a nice day. Okay, you too. <laughs> Oh, thank you. All right, I think I'm done. Okay, I've got you at 17. All righty. You have changed that, okay? Thank yep. you so much. Care if I give you a dollar and quarter? Not at all. I really yep. appreciate it. Thank you so okay. much. Thank you. Do you need help hearing this? Uh, I think I'm okay. I'll probably do two tricks, though. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I like to, I like to decorate and change it up. Uh-huh, yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, so here is the haul. So uh, let me start on top here. So this is not an item to resell. This was a personal buy, but I wanted to show you anyway because I thought it was like really cool. And um, so Walt Disney Studios, chilling, thrilling sounds of the haunted house. Uh, funny story, this is the first time I've ever found anything like this. And I found two different ones on the exact same day. Um, so you probably saw that in a different haul or you will see that in a different haul. Um, so we're going to keep these. These are something that we may frame or do something cool with like decor wise in our home. Um, but we do collect Disney 
Disney Arna, especially anything kind of spooky related. So uh, this is for us to keep. And I paid $3 for this and I love it. At the yard sale, I paid a dollar for these Converse. They do probably need to go through the wash just a little bit. There's a couple of small marks. I really like the fact they were like a lilac purple color. And again, I'll take a magic eraser to the white parts there just to kind of spiff it back up and make it look very bright and clean. I did buy several things from this yard sale, but the rest of them were personal buys and they were all things like house decor items. We're actually redecorating right now. And naturally, I want to do as much as possible from like secondhand things from thrift stores and from yard sales because that's just how I roll. So that's why you saw me pick up quite a few different items at this particular sale, but I haven't got much to show you here. Personal buys. Okay, and then this yard sale. So I've been to this yard sale, this particular uh, ladies yard sale multiple times now. She always has good stuff. She always has really nice items shoes and clothing and things like that. I found Burberry, I found Brighton, Sorel, all kinds of wonderful brands there. Um, so she did not disappoint this time either. And I think I spent a total of $25 for everything that you see here, but I'm really happy with it. So um, I found one piece of clothing, a uh, gorgeous like cable knit cream sweater really really beautiful for the season and i grabbed it because it's j crew and it's still brand new with the tags on and not j crew factory either j crew um size large and it's actually a wool and alpaca acrylic blend so some great keywords there and this was three dollars okay i then picked up a vera bradley set i don't pick up a lot of vera bradley at all but this particular piece was in such such nice shape it seemed to be kind of a newer print to me let me know what you think down below and it also came with two of the matching pieces for the set as well so I figured since it was just like a little set I would go ahead and grab it and I think I paid five dollars for this I paid two dollars for this bag and um, I found this brand before and sold it it is Latico there we go um and it's just a beautiful brown leather bag unfortunately it does not have the crossbody strap and um, but it was only two dollars and it will still sell just as a top handle bag I'm sure Another $5 item here were a pair of brand new in the box Eileen Fisher leather slides or leather espadrilles. Really, really beautiful. I cannot believe that they have never been worn and they only cost me five bucks. Plus with them being in the box, I have all of the information right here to help me list them as well. And the last item that I grabbed, I think I paid $10 for. So this was the most expensive item I believe in the whole haul, um, but it is a longer burger basket purse like a big crossbody purse with a leather strap this thing is gorgeous it doesn't have a single mark or scuff on it it is so beautiful and i think i should easily be able to get 35 and up for this all right, you guys, thank you for coming along with me to today's yard sales. Let me know down in the comments if there's anything here you wouldn't have picked up. And also don't forget to let me know what your favorite thrift or yard sale find was for you guys as well. I love hearing about you guys finding treasure out there at yard sales and stuff too. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here and you like this kind of content, then don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell notification so you can come back and yard sale with me some more. As usual, if you're looking for a friendly Facebook group, you can check out mine. Link down below in the description called Thrift Nice. And if you're on the hunt for any fun reseller or thrifting themed merchandise like t-shirts, sweaters, fanny packs, you name it, it's there. You can check out my Teespring store, link down below as well. I'll let you guys, I will catch you in the next one. Bye.